everybody and welcome so I finally finished this journal I stayed up till 4 a.m. finishing it I was in the zone and I wasn't stopping so um, a little backstory to this journal is that my mom who is the most precious human I know and really just a sophisticated lady had a stroke after a major bypass surgery in January and she went through a rehab hospital and was doing fairly well and then had another stroke here a couple of weeks ago. So I'd been in the hospital with her for a while. And on Mother's Day, I don't know, I brought my computer and I just felt inspired. So I created a digital kit and um, she finally was transferred about a week ago to a rehab hospital. And so the first day home, I just started printing everything out and I've been working on her nonstop since. And she is packed full and she will be available for sale on my website, which I'll link below. And I'm not gonna go through and say, this is on the website. This... So I made a digital kit and besides the digital kit, 99% um, of the papers that are in here are actually in my shop as well. So you guys can check it out. I have digitals that start at 50 cents. So I don't charge an arm and a leg for digitals um, because I truly love junk journaling and I just want everyone to enjoy it and do it as well. So she measured, oop, oop, I'm gonna, I have, sorry. I'm gonna probably rock it a couple of times. She measures just at five, I think she was eight, five by eight. And so we'll go through everything. So this is actually a vintage wedding dress. And the spine is a hidden spine, but it's a, it, I started to do an open spine, but I actually just decided um, th there is reason behind it because she's so chunky that I wanted it to be able to lay flat so that you could work in it. And I will say that when I make a journal, I, I, of course we want it to be beautiful, and but I always think about actually journaling. So even though I might have a lot of um, pages that have a lot of graphics on them, I do turn around and put a lot of ephemera in them so that you can write on it. So this is the back cover. And I just extended it on. And this is the side view. She's got lots of it in the top. So let's undo her. And we'll start with this. So this was actually a pin that I made. I, had, I was going to give my mom. And then I was making um, something with it and I broke the back. So I just used it because it reminded me of her. And my mom is a little classy with a little bling, so I found a little bling and put on there. It's got a cute little key. I put a little piece of bling and a little piece of pearl. And then this locket. Okay, before I open the locket, I'm sorry, I should tell you that the kit is called Love Not Gloria. And the reason it's called Love Not Gloria is because when my mom had her stroke, she started having, um, she has a little bit of dementia, but it wasn't bad, but her stroke caused a lot of memory issues. And I am the youngest of six. I am the baby, I am her baby girl. My name is Gail, but everybody calls me happy. And for some reason she could not remember me or that I was her daughter. And, um, and it didn't, it, yes, it bothers me that my mother didn't remember me, but it, I know she can't help it. So it doesn't really bother me, bother me. And so she, I constantly, about 20, 30 times a day, would ask her, you know, who am I? And she started saying Gloria for some reason. And so I would constantly say, I'm not Gloria. And um, so then every time I would ask her, she'd say, not Gloria. And then I realized like a week in, she thinks my name is actually not Gloria. Like not is part of the name because I would constantly say, I'm not Gloria. And so I actually found it endearing. <laughs> it was really comforting to me for some reason. So she still calls me not Gloria when she sees me. And she'll tell my sister, can we call not Gloria? And um, I think that's just so cute. So I named the collection actually Love Not Gloria. So inside the locket, this is actually my mom. And you can replace this. I'm okay with it. I just, as a members of her, and then I put love, not Gloria, on the inside of it. So 
I just thought that was really cute. And then I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I think this is uh, sterling. And then these are some pearls from a vintage necklace that I had. My mom gave uh, all the girls, there's three girls. She gave us all a set of um, pearls for our 40th birthday. And I'll get to the charms on the bottoms in, in a little bit, but there's a pocket here. My mom loves hydrangeas and yellow roses. So the card is a yellow rose to begin with. And then I just made this little card and it says, love not Gloria with mom. And again, this is in the part of the kit. Like I said, I'm not gonna say that for everything. So let me put this back in here and then we'll open her up. And let me make sure I'm in frame. Okay, so this is probably one of my favorite digitals that I have ever done. I This is just so vibrant. I love it. This is some embossed paper. Um, I also have a lot of handmade paper in here that I made myself. Um, this is just a couple of tags. This is from a French book. It's a part of a printable though. It's in the shop. And then this is vintage wallpaper. And this was actually some old contact paper that was stuck to something. And then I just made a tag and collaged on the top of it. This image was from a magazine that I absolutely, it just like epitomizes my mother. It's just like classy and beautiful. So this is an authentic postcard. And this is just a, um, I have a vintage French music book and this is a page of it it's in the kit as well and this was also some bridal lace my mom loved to sew and then it has a little charm on it and then i made this tag and there's a pocket behind it and this is a photograph and i even have photographs in my um shop you can download so this is some vintage lace this thing is packed full of ephemera just a little journal cord and this is again some lace and here's a my mom loved hydrangeas and she loved florals and there's some ledger behind it it's just a tag and this is actually some vintage real wallpaper and that was my dogs that i put out the room that are going to make noise oh this i found these at this little antique store and it's going to be kind of hard to capture but it does have like a bronzy gold tint to it and they're just little pieces of paper I thought you could journal on the back of. And then I made this tag. And because I love blue, I had to put a little blue in here. So, This is just a little flip that I made that I thought you could just journal on the inside. It was some vintage paper that I had. And then this is a button cord that I made. These are printables in my shop, but I just put some vintage little blue pearl buttons on them. And then here's some vintage music paper with some sorry trim. Then this is just a little envelope that I made. And here's a printable with a tag. And it even has a pocket. And then there's a pocket here. And I figured you could turn. I put it on the back of a um, back of an envelope. 
but I just did a little flip so you could do it. And this was some vintage stationery that I've held on to. And then here's just a telegram. And then I just absolutely love this page. So, it's just a little tag. And then it actually opens up and there's a few a little printable inside. And then this I just did, it's got something to do on the back, the other side of it. And then this is just an altered envelope. I just tucked it in here. It's really quite fragile. And then a tag. And I just left that one open. Sometimes I like to leave the pockets open so you can put more things in it. Another piece of vintage music paper. And like I said, my mother loved yellow roses. So I did this, and it's actually um, a pocket on this side. And this is just a vintage postcard that I printed, and the other side of it will come up. This is some vintage lace. This is a belly band that I made. This is just a photograph. My mother absolutely loved to read and would read to us a lot. And so I just sort of made it into a photograph and a place where you could journal on the inside. And then this is just a vintage book page that was plain that had a little squiggle on it. I just loved it. So that's another thing. My mother was an avid reader. Without exaggeration, she would probably read 10 books a week. And um, so the stroke is messed with her and she's not able to actually read right now. She's uh, blind on half of her face. But we still, I read to her and I point to the letters so she can read. This is the back of that vintage French. And then this. This actually, I created it. It says, I love you, mama, in French. And then I just tucked in a few little digitals in there. Back, and this is the other side of that vintage wallpaper. So this is the end of the first signature. And the reason I made the spine like I did, you guys see there's like a little gap, and it's because it can lay flat and you can actually work in the journal. And, and so I was very thoughtful when I was creating it. And this is a French um, book page that is a digital. And this is a piece of ledger paper. I actually have the uh, original ledger paper, but I printed this as a part of the digital that's in the kit. I printed it onto some, I found some really old paper at a yard sale. And it is amazing. It's like old newspaper and it was already aged. But there's a little bow with some hearts dangling from it and this is actually a shirt that my mom had and um, she lost so much weight we uh, donated a lot of her clothes and I went through and kept a few things and this was one of them and this is a digital as well it's a book page that I had a pocket these ladies just reminded me of my mom and then this is also um, in my kit. There's actually a couple of different ones and I realized I think this is the one that should be for lace, but it's okay. And I just glued on some of my favorite fabrics and it can be a journal card as well. I'm pretty sure, I don't, you guys, I have so many digitals because I do try to support other artists as well. 
And then I realized like a lot of the things I buy sometimes, like I've bought, uh, I think Ruby and Pearl's, uh, all her vintage wallpapers. I have actually so many of those actual authentic uh, um, wallpapers. This may be from her shop, but it may be from mine because I didn't name it and I, I just had a bunch printed out. So I'm not sure, but she has amazing things. I'm, uh, I'm fully in support of you supporting her. Um, this is just a printable of an old thing. And then this is also something I found at that garage sale. And I, I don't have very many of them left, but I'm in love. I think it was, this lady was like a seamstress. And I'm pretty sure this was like the carbon copy papers. But they're so old and they're like amazing. I love it. I even printed on some of them, um, like some old vintage um invoices and stuff and they they work really really great all right let's get back in frame and then here's another i just did a little collaging on this tag and i just love using brown paper and then this is actually my mom so i also included this picture you can easily slide it out i'm not offended if you put a different picture on the inside and this flips up and I don't know, this just classy lady reminded me of her. And then there's also um, another tag in the back and it's got a pocket back here. Oh, and this is also a pocket right here. Oh, let's, um, so this, I don't know why, just the rose reminded me of my mom. This little pen, my mom had a lot of pens. This little pen, I just broke the back of it off and tied it on. This is actually, I do this on my journals that I sell. This is my logo. It says, Happy Anderson Handmade Journals. I forgot to do the other ones, huh? And then this one is just a little Pearl with a little rose, and there's a big piece of bling. Here it is. I just love that. That is just my mom. If you ever, ever, ever knew my mom, she bought herself a lot of jewelry, and she deserved it. So did we. We bought her a lot of jewelry. So, my mom. This is songs my mother taught me when I was looking to make this. I just absolutely love it. My mom loved to touch ranges. So my mom actually sang hymnals and taught us lots and lots of um, rhymes and uh, nursery rhymes. She would tell us vivid stories every night going to bed. And then there was this adorable little picture of these little girls and one teaching school. So I just tucked that in. So this is a tuck spot here. And then this is as well. And I flipped it up. And then I just put this heart charm on there. And it's got some vintage lace. And then here's more of that vintage wedding dress. It's the other side of that amazing paper. So this is actually an envelope. And you can, there's nothing in it, but you can put something in it on both both sides. And then, I don't think, yep, I did. This is a pocket. This is an old book plate. It's just, I love the yellow. And then this lady just reminded me of my mom being classy. And um, I really like this little girl. She just looks, my mom is very, very um, demure. And um, like, we always joke that we have our dad in us because my dad's like, you know, would tell anybody off. And my mom, I think I've only heard her say five curse words my entire life. So I don't know, this little girl just looks so prim and proper. And that's just a check and then a piece of cord that you can use. I love polka dots, I don't know why, so put that in there. And then again, another classy lady. And this was just um, a collage that I did. It's just got some papers and I just hung it over. And that's, I think that's silk and it's got a little pearl dangle on it. And this is the back side and the back side of that music book. 
Here's the other side of that journal and another dangle. And this is just a, you can journal on the back of it. And then this is the back cover. And I just tucked a journal cord and it's got some music sheet in there that you can use. And then this is the back cover. And that's the spine. Thank you guys so much. She'll be available in my shop um, over the weekend. It's thejunkgypsy.net. And I'm also going to be doing a major, major, major de-stash. Um, so I invite you guys to come back. I'll announce when I'm doing it. I'm talking like, I have a, I have a three kitchen tables full of stuff right now. So I just, I have way too much things. So I need to get rid of some of them so I actually can get more things. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you soon.